The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number one and two. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on December 29th, 1972, in Bombay, India. Arjuna said, O oh my dear Krishna, I wish to know about Prakriti, nature, Purusha, or the enjoyer, and the field, and the knower of the field, that of knowledge, and the end of knowledge. Uh, the Blessed Lord then said, This body, O son of Kunti, is called the field, and one who knows this body, is, who knows this body is called the knower of the field. Khetra, Khetra, Gya. Just like we are living in this apartment and we know that I am not this apartment, but I am living in this apartment. <coughs> the people say that because uh, the super-soul or the soul is living within this body, Therefore the body is so. This is not very good argument. Uh, that is being cleared by Krishna himself. Idam sariram kantya khetra iti avidhyati. Khetra. Khetra means a land or a place. So, Idam sari rang kantya khetram kiti avidhyate and the next one. Etadyo veti. Etadyo veti. And one who knows it, he is khetra ga. Ga means in knowledge. So, we should know this that I am not this body. It is my body. If we analyze the body, I say it is my hand, it is my leg, it is my head. Nobody says I head or I hand. I is different from this body. I am living in this apartment, but I am not this apartment. But the modern civilization is going on on the basic idea that I am this body. I am American, I am Indian, I am Brahman, I am Kshatriya, I am man, I am woman. Uh, this is Kanda. Uh, this is Kanda. This is, this is the concession of the animals. The animals, they do not know that uh, the dog, the body dog, and the soul who has obtained the body of a dog, the soul is different from the body. Uh, this is the Vedic information. Asangayam purusha. The living entity, soul, is not this uh, material body. Asanga. He has no uh, uh, I mean, the association. Uh, he is put into that condition, but he is different from the body. What is that? She has gone out and cannot come. Uh, so this should be clearly understood. This is knowledge that I am not this body. Uh, uh, what is the name? Uh, uh, second line? Uh, 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 yes, next. Etadya Veti Tantra. Etadya So, uh, if you study, if you meditate on our body, I am this body, I am this finger, no, the answer will come. No, I am not this body. I am, it is my body. It is my finger, it is my head. 
this is simple thing and here it is confirmed by the supreme authority krishna and we can experiment it the how it is that i am identifying myself in this body uh, uh, therefore shastra says jashatu buddhi kunape sridhatu ke this body is uh, a product of the three dhatu according to ayurveda system kapha pitta vai so anyone who is accepting this body made of three elements kapha pitta vai uh, he is no better than gokhara saiva gokhara when uh, any दृश्यातुबुद्धि कुनपीति धातुके सधिक कलत्रा दिशु भौमयज्यधि जतीर्थ बुद्धि सलिले न करहिचे जनेषु अभिज्ञेषु सैव गोखर गोखर गो मीन्स काउ एंड खर मीन्स एस स पीपल आर आइडेंटिफाई विथ दिस बॉडी But Shastra says such persons are no better than the cows and the asses. Now just try to understand what is the civilization. Huh? Just try to understand it is this. It is the combination of cows and asses because everyone is identifying I am this body. I am America. I am Russia. I am China. Uh, let us fight i am hindu i am muslim this is going on the simple knowledge is lacking the simple knowledge that i am not this body and aham brahmasmi the basic language soham soham means i am the same spirit soul as the super soul as krishna i am qualitatively one as krishna is sachidananda vigraha Uh, similarly, I am also Sachidananda, part and parcel. The difference is that I am very minute, as the absurd times explain. The minute particle of gold is also gold. That is not different. A minute drop of the sea water is also the same quality, the same chemicals. Similarly, we being part and parcel of Krishna. Uh, we are not uh, subjected to the material condition but we have put ourselves in this material condition uh, that is called maya uh, we wanted to enjoy separately separated from krishna and therefore we are put into a condition which is illusion uh, that i have already explained several times at night we forget all this body uh, although in day time i identify myself that i am american i am indian i am brahman at night when i sleep i forget whether i am american or indian or brahman or chatri or this is our daily experience i am in a different atmosphere i am dreaming something And again, at day time, I forget what I dreamt at night. So sometimes we go very unknown place, very nice place, very nice building, light atmosphere. And at as soon as the dream is over, then again I am on my bed. and when i dream i forget i am not in my bed but i am in in the surrounding of palaces of gardens so this is our daily experience so uh, because we wanted to imitate krishna krishna bhuliya ji bhagwan cha kare and the krishna has uh, given us a place which is illusion Uh, which is not fact, temporary uh, illusion. <coughs> Just like we sometimes see uh, water in the desert, that is illusion. 
practically there is no illusion and there is no water. But we see, oh, here is water, vast water. The animals, they run after the water. Similarly, we are also running after this illusion. There is happiness, there is happiness, but there is no happiness. Uh, at the fag end of life we are disappointed, we are frustrated. Vridha kalo āvala sabha sukha bhāgala. When we cannot again, no more, we can enjoy with our senses, then we become very much depressed. Old men, you will find old men, those who are not spiritually inclined, they are very morose, morose because they cannot use anymore the senses. They sometimes take medicine, but how it can be done? So, vṛddha kāla āvala. So we are under this illusion. This is called māyā. We should understand that we are not this body. We are not this body. Our bodily enjoyment, sense gratification, that is illusion. In another place in the Bhagavad-gītā you will find, it is said, Sukham mātam thikam jattat otindriya grahaya. Find out that word. Sukham ātam thikam jattat otindriya grahaya. <coughs> we are trying to enjoy life with these material senses, but that is illusion, that is temporary. Uh, temporary and illusion. Real enjoyment is with our spiritual senses. What is it? Have you got? Sukhamatyantikam yattad buddhikāyam atindriyam veti yatra na chayavāyam sthitas chalati tatpataha. What is the translation? Uh, There's a few verses together. Uh, the stage of perfection is called trance or samadhi. When, uh. one mind, when one's mind is completely restrained from material mental activities by practice of yoga, uh. this is characterized by one's ability to see the self by the pure mind and to relish and rejoice in the self. In that joyous state, uh. one is situated in boundless transcendental happiness and enjoys himself through transcendental senses. Established thus, one never departs from the truth. And upon gaining this, he thinks there is no greater gain. So, every information is there. Uh, if we want actually happiness, then we have to purify the material consciousness. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness movement. We have come to the point of Krishna consciousness. Uh, that Krishna consciousness can be achieved by the grace of Krishna. Krishna consciousness, athapiti deva padam bujadam prasadu leshanu grihita evai. Krishna cannot be understood by any other method than the Krishna method. Krishna is absolute. Therefore, if one wants to understand Krishna, he must take the Krishna method, Krishna method, because Krishna is absolute. There is no difference between Krishna and the method of attaining Krishna. They are the same. Method, the bhakti method means Krishna method, bhakta bhagavan, and the method to approach Bhagavan is called bhakti. The whole thing is based on one root, vaj, vajdhāt, vajdhātu, that means offering a loving service to the Lord. And Krishna says, bhaktya mama vijānāti anar bhajati mama nannabha. These words are there. Sādhuriva samantabha. Apite sutra acharo bhajate mama nannabha. Bhajate, this way, bhajate. Chatupida bhajate ma. This word bhaja is very important. From bhaja the word bhakti comes. 
भजदा तुक्ति तो भक्ति मीन्स भजन भजते मावन भाव महात्मा अनुस्तु मांग प्राप्त दैवी प्रकृति मास्त भजंती अनन्न मन सो अगेन भजंती महात्मा अनुस्तु मांग प्राप्त दैवी प्रकृति मास्त दिस भजन इज फॉर महात्मा नॉट फॉर द दुरात्मा और क्षुद्रात्मा महात्मा वन हुज आत्मा हैज बीन एक्सपैंडेड महात्मा नॉट क्रिपल दोज आर थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ सोसाइटी नेशनैलिटी कंट्री रिलीजन और सो मेनी थिंग्स दे आर नॉट महात्मा दे आर क्षुद्रात्मा दो आर दोज आर थिंकिंग इन ब्रॉड आर वे जैसे लाइक चैतन्य महाप्रु ही से पृथ्वी ते आछे जत नगर आदि इज नॉट थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ पृथ्वी ते आछे जत नगर एज मेनी टाउन्स एंड विलेजेस आर देयर ऑल ओवर दी वर्ल्ड इज नॉट थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ माय विलेज माय कंट्री माय सोसाइटी एवरी वन इज थिंकिंग लाइक दैट But those who are Mahatma actually, they are thinking in a broader way. Prithvi bhi tera achhi ja to nagra. Krishna is thinking in terms of all living entities. Sarvajoni shukamunte, sammavanti murte. All living entities in all species of life, in all forms of life. Aham bija padapita. I am their father. So this is called Mahatma. Krishna is thinking in terms of our limits. People are saying that Krishna in Hindu God. Oh, why Hindu God? Uh, in dictionary, it is said in English dictionary, the Krishna is one Hindu God. Is not in dictionary. Why Hindu God? He says that I am the father of all living entities. Why he should be the father of the Hindu? Uh, Indians, his father of everyone, he says, but they write in the dictionary, Krishna is Hindu God. Uh, misinterpretation. Krishna doesn't say. Uh, he and Krishna himself, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Prithvi the ache jato na gora dikha. As many villages and towns are there, sarvatra prachar hoyi be mona. That my name will be celebrated in every village, every town. Uh, so this Krishna consciousness movement is not a crippled movement. It is very broad movement, claiming all living entities uh, to come to Krishna, <coughs> back to home, back to God. Therefore, we should not be bodily conscious. Krishna here says that body is not I am this body. Idam sari idam khetra. It is a field of activities. Khetra, field of activity. Just like one who is bodily conscious, he undergoes many severe exercises. The body becomes very stout and strong, and he is happy. He is happy uh, because he thinks on this body. Uh, similarly, you can make your body spiritually strong. As you make your body materially strong, similarly you can make your body because this is khetra. Khetra means the field or the land. You, in the land, by tilling the land, by cultivating the land. You can produce nice grain also and inferior grain also as you are, because the land is in your possession. You can cultivate as you like. Similarly, this body is land, and I am the tiller. I am the uh, krsha or agriculturist. So, by using the land. 
I can become spiritually advanced or I can become materially advanced. It is up to me. Uh, spiritually advanced means gradually you forget that I am this material body, I am Krishna's, I am Brahma, that is spiritually advanced. And material advanced means I am this body, I am American, I am Indian, I am Brahman, I am Kshatriya, I am man, oh man. this is material advanced. Both ways. This human form of life, because it is not animal life, always remember that I am not animal, I am not human being. So I can utilize, these things will be explained in this chapter, how I can utilize this body. Both ways I can utilize. If I simply uh, limit myself with the bodily necessities of life, just like the animals, eating, sleeping, sex intercourse and defense. Uh, these are common to the human body and the cats and dogs' body. Uh, but because I am human being, I can utilize my body in a different way. The cats and dogs cannot do. That is the difference between a human being and an animal. If you don't utilize my body as human being, then I am no better than cats and dogs. Actually I am cats and dogs. If you simply limit myself how to eat very nicely, how to sleep very nicely, how to have sex and intercourse very nicely, and how to defend myself very nicely, then you are no better than animal. But this is the business of the animal. The animal cannot be invited to become Krishna conscious. That is not possible. Even if he is invited, he cannot sit down, he cannot hear. Therefore, those who are very much advanced in animal propensities, they cannot take part in this Krishna consciousness movement. Though are those who are, to say frankly, no better than animals, they cannot take any interest in the Krishna consciousness movement. That is not possible. Therefore Krishna says, who can take? He says, we take from Krishna all the world, you don't believe me. Uh, Krishna says that jesāmantakatam uh, pāpam janānaṁ punna karmāṇaṁ te dhanna maha nirmukta bhajanti māng dhirabhrata. So animal life means sinful life, animal life. Even this human form of life is also sinful unless we come to the Krishna consciousness platform. We come to the animal life means sinful life. If I act as, as sinful, like hogs and dogs, just like if I don't discriminate of eating, just like the hogs, they have no discrimination. They accept even stool. Come on. I said it. So you get the body of hog or dog. And if you uh, utilize this body according to the Shastra to purify it, because the human body is meant for uh, purification. Jasma suddheta satya. Uh, that is the given instruction given by Vishwam Dev. Tapo divvam putra ka jasma suddhi satya jena suddhi ta satya jasma brahma sokham anantam nayang deha dehu bhajang niloke kashtana kaman arahati vir bhujang ji. He advised, instructed his sons, my dear sons, don't use this body like the hogs and dogs. 
whole day and night searching after stew, eating for eating. Uh, don't use this. And after eating, as soon as there is uh, the sex uh, is strong, then sex life. That, that is hog's life. You have seen. These are the examples, natures. Uh, they are very stout and strong, fatty, by eating stew. And as soon as fatty, immediately sex life, without any discrimination, mother, sister, or anyone. There is hog. You see from nature's example, dogs and hogs, the dog has no, uh, I mean, can't see or say at and then the street they are having sex life. So human civilization is coming to that. Already it has come. Uh, in Western countries, uh, at least in our country it has not come still. And Western is common as well. Young man, young woman is embracing, kissing and everything. And sometimes sexually also engaged on the sea beach in the garden. We have seen it. So practically you are coming to the hogs and dogs life. This is our advancement of civilization. Why? On account of this bodily concept of I am this body. I am this body. So this should be uh, first of all understood uh, as Krishna said. Idam sariram kaunteya chitram iti it has been awarded to you for utilizing it for different purposes as you like. You can utilize it like cats and dogs and hogs and you can utilize it as devata, as demigod. That is up to you. We have got little independence. We can utilize or misuse this independence. But the śāstra said that this body is not to be utilized as cats and dogs and hogs. Śāstra. Therefore, uh, Krishna said, Jasāstra vidhimu sirja vartate kāma kāra. Anyone who does not care for the instruction given in the śāstra, Shastra just like anyone who doesn't care for the law of the state. What kind of man he is? Uh, he is a loafer. He is outlaw. He is not a respectable citizen. Similarly, anyone who does not follow the Shastra, and Shastra is meant for human being, not for the cats and dogs and hogs, as law is meant for the human being, not for the cats and dogs. Uh, therefore, we have to follow this astric injunction. Uh, thank you very much. That's all.